Hello! Hi guys, this is One Man's Junk. My name is Mike. We are just back from Zolocon 2019. It is a toy convention held here on the East Coast with a big focus on action figures, so right up my alley. I went up there last year as a guest, so this year I've returned as an exhibitor. This year, for the first year, it was in fact a two-day event, it was the whole weekend. So in fact, I've picked up and found so much stuff that I've decided to make two videos. So this one will be part one of Zolo. So, without further ado, Let's dive in and I'm going to show you some of my um, general or ordinary finds that I found over the weekend and I've grouped them all together so it's less of a mix and so you can just see basically some of the series that I focused on or, or I do focus on. So let's have a look at some of our ordinary finds. So I got extremely lucky and of course as you all know me by now, I am extremely faithful and I love my Kenner Predator line. So, you're going to notice that I actually was very lucky and I managed to find quite a few of them. Um, you'll notice the sculpts are, of course, the same, uh, generally the same, as I've mentioned with this line here. Um, and, of course, they just, they just recolor a lot of the, the figures and they give them different accessories to go along with them. Um, but, I mean, you know, if you're a Predator fan, this is a really cool line. Um, I know that the movie that just got released wasn't too great, but hey, we always love seeing the Predator in action. And definitely, that was the best one of the bunch here. I can't remember his name. I think it's Night Vision Predator or uh, Night Disguise. I'm not sure, but here. So that was the Kenner Predator. And of course, it wouldn't be the same if I didn't pick up... Uh, it wouldn't... But yeah, regular, ordinary pickup. I didn't pick up any uh, Kenner Terminator figures, so we got this one here, who I actually have still in the box. Um, again, he's not particularly rare, but of course, you know, he's a really cool, silly little figure. I think a um, salute to Extender from the Mutu line here. We have these here, which is a Robocop versus Terminator line of sorts. So basically, this is from Toy Island. These were literally the only two figures in the line. Um, and you'll see, you know, it's, it's a lot shorter than a, a regular action figure here. It's more like a Fisher-Price Adventure People um, or a Star Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. Um, I actually found a ton of these on the card, so not particularly rare, but they are a nice little figure, well made. We have a uh, Earthworm Jim figure again. Um, I, I believe I found this figure again the other week. Uh, he's the crow. I should know. Psycro. Psycro. This is certainly one of my favorite finds. I managed to put this lot together, so it wasn't found as a lot. These are all pieces that I found over the weekend to show you this great lot that I've managed to build. So, without further ado, it's Swamp Thing. Yes, now Swamp Thing, of course, is also is one of my favorite lines. It's up there with Toxic Crusaders. Um, if you haven't ever read Swamp Thing comics, I would highly recommend them, especially the ones written by Alan Moore. That is one heck of a series, really well written, um, and the, of course the, uh, the comic, the artwork is just phenomenal. Definitely one of the best things I've ever read. So we've got here all the Swamp Thing here. So you've got these are the, um, that's the uh, Evil Unmen, that's the bad guys here, that's one of the good guys here, Tomahawk. We've got the glow in the dark Swamp Thing, and I believe this is the actual Swamp Thing mold that was intended to be used for the Superpowers line. But we didn't just stop there, we did also get this vehicle here. Unfortunately, it is incomplete, but still works. There we go. And finally, we got this guy here too. This one was an absolute steal because of course the missile is here, still included, and the seller was very thoughtful. He's actually attached it with a um, uh, elastic band so then that way you know, it won't get lost. It will stay uh, attached to the vehicle. And the final thing I did find is an accessory as well. So you've got this nice little tomahawk accessory which is almost like translucent here with the painted uh, wooden shaft here. So definitely a awesome 
and I cannot emphasize enough. Awesome Swamp Thing lot find. Thank you. Okie dokes guys, it's that time again. We're gonna go through our accessories, see what we found. Um, I've kind of, you know, filtered it just to show you guys like kind of groups of accessories for one line. Just to kind of make it a bit easier and to give you a better idea of what's going on. Now just before we do, one of my favorite accessories that I found this week was, look at that. That is none other than a she piece, but not just any piece, because if you remember, I picked up Swiftwind the other week and is, in fact, a saddle. So, how good is that? Okay, guys, let's pour them out. Let's see what we got. Okay. So, I wanted to do this. I showed you I picked up a ton of Predator. So why don't I focus on some Predator accessories? And that's precisely what I'm going to do. These are accessories that, of course, I picked out of a bin, um, at various bins over the weekend. So they weren't all sold as the one. And of course, that's just it's some good old fashioned knowledge and research. So these two, of course, are missile shooters. This is the actual missile that comes with it. Um, you may recognize this is actually very similar. The mold um, was used in Jurassic Park as well, except it's less alien-like, and I believe the clips are um, slightly different. There's a, a nice little Predator staff. So this staff, again, much like the figures, once you recognize this mold, then it's very easy to identify because it was released in a, uh, several different colors. Um, of course, uh, brown is one of the ones off the top of my head. Uh, so that's a great one to, uh, to find and easy to identify. Here's another one, again, fairly easy to identify by the, um, the front of the missile. Missiles are particularly difficult to identify. You have to really have owned the missile or know exactly what you're looking for to be able to find that. So we'll look it up and I'll try and tell you exactly what that missile also belongs to. Now, how about this? Staying with Kenner, we have a face hugger. So I love these little face huggers. I know that some people collect them. What I tend to do is when I find them, I keep them all and I put them on all my favorite action figures. So one of these days I'll show you guys a photo. All my action figures, unfortunately, have been attacked by a face hugger. Um, this is also, of course, Kenner Alien. And I just wanted to point out that, you know, sometimes you can look, you can look, and you can keep finding the piece, but it's the same darn piece. Don't have the back to that yet. So unfortunately, this was an exploding alien here. And I do need the back piece for it. And I do have the legs somewhere kicking around. Um, but unfortunately, yes, that's the way it goes. How about this? Here's another alien Kenner piece. Not, uh, yep, not easily or uh, instantly um, identifiable. Now this piece here is, um, it looks very similar to actually a Exo Squad adventure pack, but it of course is not. And I'll show you exactly. It's for the Marine that dresses up like an alien. It'll be right here. Okay, oh. And this is another piece that actually belongs to the same figure. It's actually the missile that comes with it. So always lost, it's, uh, this one's pretty tricky to identify. You know, it's just a very plain looking black missile. All right, we mentioned Kenner. Well, let's just stay with Kenner then. How about this? I'm not sure exactly which figure this belongs to, but I am 99.9% .9 sure that this is Dino Capture gear. Something I've mentioned before, it's very, very hard to identify which figures they belong to because there's not a dedicated source to it. But it definitely looks like that, and I will try my very best to identify it and let you guys know what it belongs to. This here is a Barnyard Commandos, uh, released by Playmates. Um, Playmates, of course, you know, Ninja Turtles. Um, and these are basically the accessories that come with it. It's missing all the decals. Uh, I believe that belongs to um, the RAM. But um, I'll have a picture for you right here. These, I wanted to just show you just because they're so great. Look at the size of these things. Yep, these tiny little things, well, if you're wondering what the heck they are, they are in fact miniature little pizza. They are pizza pucks because they belong to the Donatello hockey player. And those are the pucks that come with him that he launches. So there you go, that's a great little find. We got um, some skeleton warriors here. Skeleton warriors actually also playmates. 
So Ninja Turtles, Barnyard Commandos, and here we go, Skeleton Warriors, and these, this is a shield. Very commonly misidentified. This little gray gun accessory here, oops, there we go, this little gray gun accessory here, I'm pretty sure belongs to a mask adventure pack. So I'm going to research it and I'm hoping to have a picture right here which will show you um, what exactly it belongs to. Here's an interesting little gun. It's not that great. I just wanted to show you it just because um, it's probably that last piece that you need to complete your figure. Yes, that's right. It belongs to Ace Duck from Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Then finally, these are definitely my favorite finds from that accessory bin. Wow, look at these guys. Looks like nonsense, right? Looks like rubbish. These are great. These belong to Mattel Food Fighters. Now the Mattel Food Fighters, um, they are very, very popular, but unfortunately the limbs tend to go missing. Um, so sometimes, you know, you'll pick one up, it's, it's cheap, but it's missing a hat or it's missing the arm or it's missing the leg. Well, that is not a problem for me now, so if I find one missing an arm or a leg, I definitely have a limb to replace it. So that was certainly a great little find. And the way to distinguish these guys is, first of all, listen, it's a hard plastic, and you can actually see here by the joints. Here we go. Excellent, 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 excellent. Okay guys, I hope you're as excited to see them as I am to show them off. These are my finds of the day. Now keep in mind, these are only my finds of the day from Saturday. So please stay tuned for the next episode where I'll have the finds of the day from the Sunday as well. Whoa. So without further ado, let's dive right in. We'll start off with something that you've all seen before that you know that I'm, let's say that I carry close to my heart, that I, something I have a passion for. Well, how about none other than one, two Mighty Max play sets. Now, again, yes, you, I know what you're saying. Uh, we've seen you find way more than that, way better than that. Um, but they were very inexpensive and they're almost complete. Now this one here, you're going to see here, all it's missing here is of course, is the actual Mighty Max himself character. And there's supposed to be a mummy that goes inside here, which of course, fairly common pieces that I do currently own. However, this piece here can be quite tricky. This scorpion here that comes with the, the um, Egyptian, shall we say, um, playset, this tail tends to break. So it can be a tricky piece to find with it being all intact. The reason for that being is that when you close the playset, it is designed to be closed like so, slowly, so that that tail still sticks out. So when you can find that, or if you can maintain or preserve that piece without breaking it, you're definitely on to a winner. Speaking of winners, wow, look at that. Yes, it is fully complete. So just in case you're not sure, this piece here raises, and you should have Mighty Max, which we do. We've got uh, the Nautilus character. You've got the two shark kind of squid things here. And of course, finally, you do also have this piece here that detaches. So that was certainly a great find. Um, here we go. Detaches here. Um, that was certainly a great little find because of course it's fully complete. But not only that, I believe that's the second or the third series of the Mi of Mighty Max. So definitely one of the better playsets to find. Okay, and what about this then? Yes. So you may recognize it. It is in fact Exo Squad. Um, it's a miniature version. So and it even has the pot well, a pilot in it, not necessarily the correct one. Um, so if you're wondering what this is, I was initially as well, uh, but I did some research and it turns out that ExoSquad actually released a line of miniature playsets, you know, similar to uh, Mighty Max here or Polly Pocket, same scale. Um, but it's like they had a whole, there was a whole scene and there was these little mini um, uh, mech suits that they did in the miniature versions. Uh, but if you haven't looked into it, Exosquad is a great line. It's from the late 90s, produced by Playmates. There was even a crossover with Robotech, so it does use a lot of the... Uh... And what else do we have? Well, you may remember that recently, not that recently, but a few weeks ago, I actually found not one, but two pterodactyls from the Cave Turtle line. Well, look what I found this week. 
Whoa! That's right, it's the Stegosaurus from the Cave Turtle line. Um, I believe this one came with April? Hmm. We'll double check, we'll double check. But definitely, that's a great little addition. Um, I know it's one of the, certainly one of the rarer ones. The, the details on these are great, and even the colors. I mean, they're such a fun line, look at that. Okay, so these were nice little finds, but uh, I hope you guys are ready for this. This is something that perhaps it won't blow you away, but it certainly blew me away. Something that I truly love, 90s, gross out, you know, that kind of trash, kind of trash bag bunch kind of era. Are you ready for this? Whoa, it is, that's right, a case, a whole case of Savage Mondo Blitzers. Whoa! So, within this case here, I actually found that there was three, um, if not four different um, gangs or packs that were found within the box. Now, the cards here, as you can see here, are, of course, perfect because it's case fresh. They are a little wavy, but that doesn't really matter. You know, you can flatten and straighten it out with some heavy books, two items. Um, but this was definitely my find of the day. Um, I noticed somebody had purchased um, a pair of them. I asked him where he found where he found them. He said somebody had a whole case, so I picked up the case and I got the guy's number. So I'm hoping to get the other case of it too. I mean, this is just history in a box. I mean, look at these. The, the, the artwork is just it's truly spectacular. Look at those colors. Look at that. So I will certainly be keeping a set of those. And if anybody is looking for. Um, a few nice case fresh Savage Mondo Blitzers, by all means write me a message and I'll be happy to help you out. Guys, thanks for joining us. This has been One Man's Junk. Please make sure to subscribe. Write me if you have any questions or if you need some action figures identified, I'll be happy to help. See you guys.